This is the Sakar Merli of the 18th of June, 2024. Essence. Sweet children, make full effort to remove your defects. Keep a chart of the virtues you lack. Donate virtues and you will become virtuous. Question. Which Srimat do you first receive in order to become virtuous? Answer. Sweet children, in order to become virtuous, 1. Do not look at anyone's body. Consider yourself to be a soul and listen to the one Father alone and only look at the Father alone. Don't listen to the dictates of human beings. 2. Do not have any such activities under the influence of body consciousness that you would defame the Father's name and the Brahmin clan. Those with wrong activity cannot become virtuous. They are known as the ones who defame the family's name. Om Shanti Baba is showing you these fragrant flowers so that you can become like them. Babdada was holding some jasmine. You children know that you definitely did become flowers. You became roses and you also became jasmine. That is, you became diamonds and you are also becoming those once again. You are now real. Previously you were false. There was nothing but falsehood. There was not even a grain of truth. You are now becoming true. Those who are honest also need all the virtues. However many virtues you have, you have to donate them to others to such an extent that you make them similar to yourself. This is why the Father continues to tell you children, children, keep a chart of your virtues. Check whether there are any defects in you and whether you lack any divine virtues. Check your chart every night. It is a different matter for the people of the world outside. You are not human beings, now you are Brahmins. Although all are human beings, there is a difference in each one's virtues and behaviour. Some human beings in the kingdom of Maya are very good and virtuous, but they don't know the Father. They are religious minded and very soft hearted. People of the world have a variety of virtues, whereas when you become deities, everyone has divine virtues. However, because this is a study, there is a difference in your status. First, you have to study, and second, you have to remove all your defects. You children understand that you are unique in the world. It is only the one Brahmin clan sitting here. In the Shudra clan there are the dictates of human beings. In the Brahmin clan there are God's directions. First of all you have to give people the Father's introduction. You say that so-and-so argues a lot. Baba explains that you should write to them and say, We are Brahmins, that is, we are Brahma Kumars and Kumaris, and we are following God's directions. They will then understand that there is no one higher than you. God is the highest on high. And we, his children, are following his directions. We do not follow human directions. We become deities by following God's directions. 
we have completely renounced following human directions. Therefore no one can argue with you. If someone asks, where did you hear this? Who taught you? You reply, we are following God's directions. There is no question of inspiration. We have understood everything from God, the unlimited Father. Tell them, we have been following the dictates of the scriptures of the path of devotion for a long time. We have now received God's directions. You children have to praise the Father alone. First of all, instill it in your intellect that you are following God's directions. We do not follow the dictates of human beings, nor do we listen to them. God has said, hear no evil, see no evil. Do not listen to human dictates. Look at souls, not bodies. This body is impure. What is there to see in this? Do not use your eyes to look at it. This body is completely impure. This body is not going to get any better. It will become even older. It is the soul that is being reformed day by day. Souls are immortal. This is why the Father says, See no evil. You must not even see bodies. Forget all your bodily relations, including your own bodies. See the souls and listen to the one Supreme Father alone. It is this that takes effort. You also feel that this is a great subject. Those who are clever will also claim a high status. Liberation in life can be received within a second. However, if you do not make full effort, you will also have to experience a great deal of punishment. You children become sticks for the blind in order to give them the Father's introduction. Souls cannot be seen, they have to be understood. Souls are very tiny. Just look how much space human beings who live under the element of the sky take up. Human beings continue to come and go. Do souls come and go? Souls take up such a small space. This is something to think about. There will be swarms of souls. In comparison to a body, a soul is very tiny. It takes up very little space. You need a great deal of space to live in. You children become those with broad and unlimited intellects. The Father explains new things to you for the new world. The one who explains to you is also new. Human beings continue to ask everyone for mercy. They do not have the strength to have mercy for themselves. You are receiving power. You have claimed your inheritance from the Father. No one else can be called merciful. Human beings cannot be called deities. Only the one Father is merciful. He is the one who changes humans into deities. This is why it has been said that the praise of the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul, is limitless. There is no limit to his praise. You now know that there is also no limit to his mercy. Everything is new in the new world that Baba creates. Human beings, birds and animals, everything there is Satopratam. 
The Father has explained that when you become elevated, your furniture is also remembered as being the most elevated. The Father is also called the highest on high. You receive the kingdom of the world from him. The Father tells you clearly, I bring paradise on the palm of my hand. Those people make saffron, etc. emerge from the palms of their hands. Here it is a question of studying. This is a true study. You understand that you have to come to this school to study. When you open many of these schools, people will see your activities. However, when you behave in a wrong way, you defame the name. The activities of those who are body conscious are different. When people see such behaviour, it is as though everyone is defamed. They think there is no difference in their activities, and so it is as though the soul has defamed the father. It takes time, but all the blame falls on him. You need very good manners. How long does it take to reform your characters? You understand that the characters of some are very good. They are first class. That too is visible. Baba sits here and looks at each of you children to see what defects have to be removed from you. He examines each one. Everyone has defects. Therefore the father continues to see everyone and their results. The father has love for you children. He knows which particular defects you have in you and that it is the reason why you will not be able to claim a high status. It will be very difficult if you don't remove your defects. Baba understands this by seeing you. You understand that there is still some time left. He examines each one. The father's vision falls on each one's virtues. He asks, are there any defects in you? You tell the truth when you come in front of Baba. Some have body consciousness, and so they do not speak about them. The father continues to say, those who act without being asked are called deities, and those who do so after being asked are called human beings. Those who don't do it, even after being asked, are called... Dot, dot, dot. The father continues to say, When you come in front of the father, tell him of the defects you have in this birth. Baba tells everyone, tell the surgeon about your weakness. Not any illness of your body, but the illness you have inside. What devilish thoughts do you have inside? Baba will then explain and tell you that you will not be able to claim a high status in that condition. That is, not until you have removed those defects. It is defects that cause a lot of defamation. People develop doubt and think, is God teaching you? God is beyond name and form. He is omnipresent. How can he be teaching them? Just look at their behaviour. The father knows this. You should have first class virtues. If you hide your defects, your arrows will not hit the target to that extent. Therefore, to whatever extent possible, continue to remove your defects. Note down the defects you have, and then your conscience will bite you. If there is a loss, your conscience will bite you. Businessmen write up their accounts every day, showing how much profit they have made. 
They check their accounts every day. This father also says, look at your behaviour every day. Otherwise you will harm yourself and cause the father's honour to be lost. Those who defame the guru cannot reach their destination. Those who are body conscious cannot reach their destination. Those who are soul conscious reach a good destination. All of you are making effort to become soul conscious. Day by day you are reforming yourselves. Put an end to the activities you perform due to body consciousness. Sins are definitely committed due to body consciousness. Therefore, continue to become soul conscious. You understand that no one becomes a king at birth. It takes time for you to become soul conscious. You understand that you now have to return home. Children come to Baba. Some come after six months, some after eight months. And so Baba sees how much progress they have made in that time. Are they reforming themselves day by day? Or is there still something wrong? While moving along, some stop studying. Papa says, what is this? God is teaching you in order to make you into gods and goddesses, and yet you stop studying? Oh ho! The world Godfather is teaching you, and you remain absent. Maya is very powerful. She turns your faces away from this first class study. There are many who continue to move along and they then kick this study aside. You understand that your faces are now towards heaven and that your feet are towards hell. You are confluence-aged Brahmins. This old world belongs to Ravan. You will go to the land of happiness via the land of peace. You children just have to remember this. Time is very short. You may even leave your body tomorrow. If you don't have remembrance of the Father in your final moments, what would be your destination? The Father explains a great deal to you. These things are incognito. This knowledge is also incognito. You also know that whatever effort you made in the previous cycle, you will make the same effort now. The Father continues to explain to you, according to the drama, just as he did in the previous cycle. There can be no difference in that. Continue to remember the Father and your sins will be absolved. You should not experience punishment. What would the father say if you had to endure punishment in front of him? You have also had visions. At that time he will not be able to forgive you. The father is teaching you through this one and so you will have a vision of this one. He will also continue to tell you through this one the things you did. Then, at that time, you will cry a great deal and you will also cry out in repentance. Punishment cannot be given without you having a vision of what you have done. You will be told that you were taught so much and that you still performed such actions. You also understand how many sins you have committed by following the dictates of Ravan. You became worshippers from being worthy of worship. You used to say the Father is omnipresent. This is a number one insult. This also creates a huge account. The Father complains about how you have slapped yourselves. 
It is the people of Barrett who have fallen to such an extent. The father comes and explains. You have now received so much understanding. However, you understand number-wise according to the drama. Previously, too, the result of the class until now was the same. The father will definitely tell you, children, so that you can continue to make progress. Maya is such that she does not let you remain soul-conscious. This is a big subject. Therefore, Consider yourselves to be souls and remember the Father so that your sins are burnt away. Acha. To the sweetest beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Babdada. The spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children. And the spiritual children say Namaste to the spiritual father. Essence for Dana 1. Sins are definitely committed when you become body conscious. Those who are body conscious cannot reach their destination. Therefore make full effort to become soul conscious. No action should be performed which would defame the name of the Father. 2. Tell the Father honestly about your internal illness. Do not hide your defects. Check what defects you have. Make yourself virtuous with this study. Blessing. May you become an altruistic server by remaining free from any limited royal desires while serving. Father Brahma gave the proof of remaining free from any bondage of karma and of being detached. Apart from doing service and having love, there were no other bondages. Limited royal desires in your service also bind you in a bondage of karmic accounts. True servers remain free from even these karmic accounts. Just as the bondage of your body is a bondage in relationship to your body, in the same way a selfish motive in your service is also a bondage. Remain free from this bondage for royal karmic accounts and become an altruistic server. Slogan Do not keep your promises in a file but reveal them by becoming final and complete. Om Shanti